It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we should have an exciting matchup on our hands as we join you from Soldier Field. The Bears are back deep, ready to return the kickoff. And Justin Tucker looks set now to kick it away. Takes off from the five. And they're all over him at the 18-yard line. Here comes the man who's not afraid to throw it down the field, quarterback Jay Cutler. Jay Cutler teamed up with Mark Tressman. This has got to be a marriage made in heaven. Jay Cutler needs to show everybody he can be a consistent quarterback and lead his team once again to the playoffs. Offense lines up here. First down at the 18. That's a gain of only a yard. This is a collection of wide receivers that could dictate this game today. They must find a way to create separation for their quarterback. That's second down coming up. The Bears with an empty backfield look here. Cutler steps back into the gun. Throw to the left. Brings it in. And that's a gain of nine. I think the best thing to say about that play, it's just a, it gained a few yards. So that's what you do. All plays don't score. Sometimes you just want to pick up a couple yards. First down and ten. Complete to Jeffrey. Tackles made. This defensive front is so often disruptive and in the quarterback space. That little throw was good for only three, so it's now second down and seven. Jake Cutler takes a look now from under center. Handoff made, and this won't even get back to the line. They'll end up losing one. The Bears' offensive coordinator, he has to be frustrated by that play. I think he calls the right play, and what happens is the run loses yards. That's just a bad job on the offensive line. After that run, it's still third and nine to go. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. Jay Cutler from the shotgun. Great pass, great catch, great control. Receivers can always sense when there's going to be a blitz by the defense. They know they have to be quicker. That time he was, and he gets a completion down the field. to the 20 and now we've got a young quarterback about to head onto the field for the first time today uh, you know Jim this guy's he's he's starting to inch his way up into that elite status and and he keeps playing solid football so if he goes out here today and and plays a good solid game again today we're gonna we're gonna start talking about him differently here in the future here's the handoff and they'll run it With this starting unit, as usual, the attention goes to the wide receivers who so often open up the game. Getting away from the pressure. Has the first down and a whole lot more. He's tackled right at the 48. His first down right around three minutes remaining in the second. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. And one Bolden with the catch. 
Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Second and 12. Now on the move. Eyeing that left side. Makes the catch in the open field. Well, when your offensive line stinks, you got to get out of the pocket. Good job that time by the quarterback. Throws the ball very well on the run for the completion. They face first down. First down following the long play. They'll run it here. And that's Tillman in on the stop. Halftime is coming up, but first we reach the two-minute warning. And it'll be second down and six after the running play on first down. He'll take the snap from the gun. He'll fire it out to the left. And incomplete pass that time as he threw it short. Boy, it must be hard just to knock the football down. That time he's in good position because you know the defender wanted to go for the interception, but he played it smart and knocked it down instead. Pass hits the ground and goes incomplete on the short throw. Sometimes on the defensive side, hurrying the quarterback is just as good as sacking him. Because when you hurry, he doesn't have time to think. He's probably not going to be as accurate, and they get the incompletion. Good job by the defense. No doubt about it. Put three on the board. There's nothing like being ahead in the football game, no matter how many points it is, because now you can manage it in a different way, even though it's early in this game, and you make the other team come after you. No return here. This will be coming out to the 20. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. Cutler set. Empty backfield. Out of the shotgun formation. That catch good for a first down. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Hurry up. Two-minute offense. Leaps up and comes away with it. Brought down at the 47-yard line. Jay Cutler will take the snap out of the gun. Throws the pass. And this pass goes incomplete as he was looking short that time. Play doesn't even have time to develop. The quarterback is under so much pressure. He's throwing it before these receivers are even ready. It's a sack. Well, it's a game of chances in the NFL. It's third down. The defensive coordinator said, let's get after this quarterback. He sends the extra guys. He blitzes him, and they get there before the quarterback can react. He's going to try his luck here. He's brought to a halt. The Seahawks oh, offense oh. ready now to see what it can do. First down at the 31. Play fake. Out to the left. Pulls it in. Gains five. That's a nice route on the outside. Nice throw by the quarterback. Puts him in good position to keep moving and get a first down. Second down coming up. Offense lines up here. Here's the handoff to Marshawn Lynch. Big, powerful Marshawn Lynch that time taking it a long way down the field. Oh, man, he fits this offense perfectly. They like to run the football with power, and I would say he is a power running back, no doubt. Breaks tackles, and then when he breaks those tackles, able to pick up big yards. set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. This will probably be the last play of the first half. Wide open for the catch. 
He's tackled right at the 24. So that's going to do it for this first half. We'll be back with our halftime report after the break. All right, welcome to the Verizon Halftime Report. Let's take a look back at the first half. Both the Seahawks and the Bears haven't figured out yet how they're going to move the ball through the air. The defenses on both sides have kept points off the board. It will be interesting to see if they can keep that up. The Seahawks break huddle and start their drive this time from the 29. The Bears lined up in the nickel. First down at the 29. Going for the deep ball. Intercepted. That'll stop the play right there. Good job that time by the defense. Not being fooled. Being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did, they got the interception. <clears throat> First and ten. And he's thrown to the ground. That time the quarterback didn't hold the football. The left side of the line just, they just collapse. He doesn't even feel it or see it, and he goes down for the sack. Cutler steps back into the gun. Throwing now to his left as his target. I think, Jim, you know, when you got a close game like this, it's third and long on the offensive side, you got to be smart. You know, don't take a chance. If you take a chance and cause a turnover, then that could turn the game around big time. So I expect the quarterback here to be very conservative with his decision. They're going to get him here for a sack. Bad job by the offense that time. There's no doubt about it. The blitz by the defense. They do not do a good job of finding out where everybody's blitzing from. They let a guy come free, and that free blitzer, or as we call them, free runners, he gets the hit on the QB and takes him down. He's going to challenge the punt coverage. Brought down after a gain of six. The Seahawks are set for their next possession. The Seahawks take it from the 33. He'll keep it on the play fake. And off the mark on that short throw. Well, the protection was bad. Quarterback didn't have the time. He's off balance, and he throws the incompletion. Second down following that incompletion. Keeps it here. Gets away from the pressure. Has to hurry the throw. Got a flag. The defense will not decline. They will take the penalty. That flag has backed up the offense into a third and 14. Lynch is in the backfield. And he's forced to the ground. Well, you just get tired of sending four, three or four players at the quarterback in passing situations. So this time the defensive coordinator sends the blitz and they are up for it. They get to the QB and get a sack. Can't blame the punt return at that time. That was just excellent coverage by the punt team. 